The Roadster will be a collaboration between SpaceX and Tesla. So, you know, you can expect some rockety stuff there. A flying car. Maybe. Elon Musk has turned Tesla into the world's leader in electric vehicles, AI, and even robotics. But one thing about Musk has never changed. His impatience when competitors launch breakthroughs that could overshadow Tesla especially Chinese companies, which often combine global innovations into headline-grabbing products. That's why Musk has long envisioned a vehicle unlike anything on the road today, a flying Tesla built at Giga Texas and designed to crush the competition. What once sounded like pure science fiction is now becoming reality. And here's the shocker. While most flying cars cost hundreds of thousands, Musk has teased a price so low it shakes the entire industry. Just $6,789. A number that's as bold as it is unbelievable. Leo Solo. Imagine flying into the sky without a pilot's license. Sounds impossible, right? Meet the LEO Solo, a single-seat EV TOL built for adventure and accessibility. Unveiled at CES through a virtual reality showcase, the Solo falls under FAA Part 1, 03 Ultralight Rules, meaning anyone can fly it. No license required. Think of it as your personal flying machine, ready to lift off at the push of a button. Fully funded and set for production in 2025, the Solo was designed to make personal flight a reality, not just a dream. With pre-orders on the horizon, Leo Flight's founders are betting this could be the start of a new era of skybound recreation. So here's the question. Would you dare to fly one? McClick Mc1. Personal flight is getting as simple as driving a car. Meet the McClick Mc1, a recreational EV tall that anyone can learn to fly in about 10 minutes. Its controls are inspired by drones, so if you can fly a DJI, you can fly this. Powered by eight propellers, the Mc1 cruises at 50 miles per hour and gives you up to 15 minutes of airtime per charge. Originally built as a camera platform, it evolved into a surprisingly stable flying machine that feels more like a personal toy than an aircraft. Sure, the price tag is steep at around $150,000, but compared to traditional aircraft, that's almost a bargain. By removing the steep learning curve, the Mc1 proves that flying doesn't have to stay a pilot skill. It could be something just about anyone can do. So, would you take it for a spin? Ehang's Air Taxi. What if your next taxi ride didn't touch the ground at all? Meet the Ehang Autonomous Air Taxi a flying pod that carries two passengers up to 19 miles at speeds of 81 miles per hour, all without a pilot. Every trip runs on pre-programmed routes, backed by multiple safety systems and monitored by ground control. The all-electric design recharges in about two hours, making it practical for several trips a day. With compact size, these pods can take off from rooftops or small pads right inside the city, and with zero emissions, they're far cleaner than idling in traffic. By using the sky instead of the street, Ehang is rewriting the limits of urban transportation. So, would you hop into a taxi with no driver, just a drone? X Peng. X. Two urban air travel just got sleeker with the X Peng X2, a fifth generation flying car built for short city hops. Shaped like a futuristic teardrop with a fully enclosed cockpit, it carries two passengers and their luggage in comfort. Powered by eight electric motors, the X2 cruises at 81 miles per hour for up to 35 minutes, making it a practical option for urban commutes above gridlocked streets. But here's where it gets serious. The X2 is loaded with safety tech, from a ballistic parachute for emergencies to environmental detection systems that keep flights smooth. And with autonomous landing, it practically parks itself from the sky. Aeromobile 4.0. What if your car could transform into an airplane? That's exactly what the Aeromobile 4.0 delivers, a hybrid vehicle that drives on the road and takes to the skies in minutes. Unveiled in 2017, it's built with a composite crash structure for safety in both modes. On the ground, it rolls at 60 kilometers per hour, but in the air, it soars at a blistering 360 kilometers per hour, 
cutting travel times like never before. Inside, it's equipped with pyrotechnic seatbelts and dual-stage airbags, bringing aviation-grade safety to everyday journeys. Designed for two passengers, the Aeromobile 4.0 isn't just a flying car. It's a glimpse at a world where commutes skip traffic altogether. Airbus pop-up. Stuck in traffic? Airbus thinks the answer is to simply lift off. Meet the pop-up, a modular vehicle that transforms from a car into a flying taxi in minutes. This all-electric system has three parts, a ground module, an air module, and a passenger capsule that snaps between the two. On the road, it drives like an autonomous city car. When traffic gets heavy, the air module swoops in, attaches, and carries you above the gridlock. Controlled through a dedicated app, Pop-Up lets you plan trips around your personal preferences, creating a seamless mix of road and air travel. It's not just a car or a drone. It's a whole new way to move through cities. So, the question is, would you rather drive through traffic or fly over it? Pal v Liberty What if your car could sprout blades and take off? That's the Pal v Liberty a wild mix between a three-wheeled car and an auto gyro. On the road, it drives like a compact trike, but in the air, it delivers the stability and performance of a light aircraft. Unveiled in 2017 and later showcased at the Geneva Motor Show, the Liberty isn't just a concept. It's headed for real-world use, with initial shipments rolling out soon. Here's the catch. You'll need both a driver's license and a pilot's license to fly it. But for those who qualify, it's the ultimate taste of personal aviation. The PAL V Liberty marks a major step toward turning flying cars into reality. So, if you had the training, would you rather keep it on the road or launch it into the skies? Bellwether EV Tall Urban Air Travel is getting a futuristic upgrade with the Bellwether EV Tall, also called Voler. Unlike traditional drones, this sleek aircraft uses a wingless lifting body and a concealed propulsion system designed specifically for city skies. The latest third-generation model, the ORX, brings better efficiency and rock-solid performance even in complex urban environments. And it's not just about tech. Bellwether built Voler with a focus on human needs, aiming to make flying through cities feel as natural as hailing a cab. By blending style, safety, and function, the Voler reimagines what everyday transportation could look like when the sky becomes our highway. LF Model A. One of the most hyped flying cars of 2025 is the LF Model A, and it's already up for pre-order at a cool $300,000. Built in California, this electric vehicle is designed for vertical takeoff, blending eco-friendly tech with futuristic design. Aleph's CEO, Jim Dukovny, calls it the future of personal air travel, with plans to bring it into urban environments by 2026. And with FAA certification already in place, the Model A isn't just another concept. It's on the fast track to reality. If Aleph delivers, your daily commute might soon start with a liftoff instead of a traffic jam. Doroni H1X the Doroni H1X is a flying car built not for the future, but for the near future. This sleek two-seater EV tall can hit speeds of 120 miles per hour with a flight time of around 40 minutes, making it perfect for short urban hops. With FAA certification already secured, the H1X is on track for mass production by 2026. Its price? Between $300,000 and $400,000 placing it firmly in the high-end luxury category, but still within reach compared to private aircraft. Compact, fast, and eco-friendly, the Doroni H1X is proof that personal flying machines are no longer sci-fi. GAC GOV Meet the Govy Aircar, an autonomous one-passenger EV toll that can switch between road and sky travel. Originally called GOVE, it now carries its new name, marking a big step toward advanced air mobility. The design is genius, a flight pod and a road chassis that can travel together or independently. On the road, the propellers fold in neatly. For flight, they extend and lift the pod straight into the air, even while the chassis keeps driving itself to a charging station. 
with a projected range of 124 miles, powered by 12 propellers and 12 electric motors, the Govi Air Car shows how future cities could work. Pods landing on new chassis, while charging stations keep the system running clean on solar power. It's more than a flying car. It's a modular ecosystem for urban travel. Cyclotech Cruise Up. He Cyclotech Cruise Up, a flying car unlike anything else in the skies. Instead of standard rotors, it uses a breakthrough cyclo rotor system with full 360 degree thrust vectoring, giving it the ability to fly sideways, backwards, or even brake mid air, all without tilting the vehicle. Its six rotor setup isn't just about agility, it's about safety too. Even if one rotor fails, Cruise Up can still land safely. And because the moving parts are fully enclosed, passengers stay shielded from the mechanics. With a top speed of 93 miles per hour and a range of 62 miles, this compact flyer is designed for dense cities like New York or Los Angeles, where maneuverability is everything. Icon A5. The Icon. A 5 isn't just a plane. It's an amphibious light sport aircraft that lets you land on both water and land with ease. First flown in 2008, this sleek 23-foot aircraft reaches speeds up to 109 miles per hour and even features folding wings, so it fits in a garage like a ski boat. Its streamlined cockpit is built for casual and novice pilots, stripping away complexity while keeping smart features like an angle of attack indicator. The Rotax 912 IS engine runs efficiently on both aviation fuel and high-octane gas, keeping operating costs low. And here's the kicker. Unfold the wings in just two minutes and you're ready to fly. Or fold them up and tow it home. With new upgrades like a four-blade propeller and higher weight capacity, the A5 takes recreational flying to a whole new level. The Aircar Lazzarini design has revealed something straight out of science fiction. The Aircar, a flying machine powered by four Rolls-Royce jet engines. Each engine can tilt and rotate independently giving it incredible maneuverability, stability, and agility at high speeds. At nearly 20 feet long, it carries a pilot plus three passengers, and here's the jaw dropper. A top speed of 466 miles per hour with a range of 745 miles on jet fuel. That's faster than most small jets, but packed into the body of a futuristic car. The only drawback? It's not truly road ready. There's no word on retractable wheels for street driving, but in the skies, the air car could redefine what a flying car looks like.